Hey everybody, so Heidi here, and this tutorial is gonna show you the easiest way to get your artwork from Illustrator into, let's say, Excel for creating a tech pack, or maybe you're putting it into Word for some reason, or even if you use a different tech pack uh, software specifically, this is the quickest and easiest way to capture artwork out of Illustrator instead of exporting as a JPEG or saving for web or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm in Illustrator here and I am on a Mac. So the keyboard shortcut to do this on a Mac is Command Shift 4. Once you get that, you'll notice you have a little crosshatch loaded. If you're on a PC, you're going to want to look up snipping tool. Okay, this works very similarly on a PC. The features I'm going to show you, but it's called snipping tool. The feature that I'm showing you right now on a Mac is inherent to Mac. This comes with your computer. So command shift four, that loads a little crosshair on your mouse. And what you can do with that is you can click and drag to capture any portion of your screen. Now, if you accidentally dropped it, cropped in, let's say cropped in a bit too tight on your sketch, you can hold the space bar before you release the mouse and you can move this around. Okay, so let's say I wanna crop it in really tight, so I'll hold the space bar. Now I'll come back up here. Now, the first thing you can do, the most basic is to just release that captures a screenshot by default it will save on your desktop from here you can jump into excel i've got my tech pack template open and if you want this free template i do have it available on my website as a free download visit soheidi.com free and you can grab that now what i'm going to do from here is i'm going to come up to insert photo photo from picture from file excuse me and I will browse out that docu that image wherever it is on my computer. Now, instead of doing that, which is kind of tedious, let's jump back into Illustrator, and I'm gonna do it again, Command-Shift-4. Again, if I crop in too tight, I'll hold my spacebar to move this around, and here's the really cool trick. I'm gonna hold the Control key before I release the mouse. Now, I hold the Control key, and I release the mouse. Now nothing happened really differently than happened last time. And I'm gonna jump back into Excel and I'm just gonna choose Command or Control V, which is edit, paste, okay? Command or Control V. So what happened, now it was a little big for my space, so that's fine, I'll just scale it down and now I can put my tech sketch right here. I would go through the rest of my tech pack and start adding the other images by just jumping back to Illustrator, taking my screenshot. And what happens when you take your screenshot and you hit hold the control key, what it does is instead of creating an actual JPEG or PNG image on your desktop, it just copies that screenshot to your clipboard, okay? Now, your clipboard, whenever I talk about this, I have a lot of people ask, what exactly is a clipboard? So your clipboard is kind of like um, whatever is copied right now. It's that one item that you're holding in your clipboard. So if I were to jump into another program and copy something else, like copy a string of text or copy another graphic by right-clicking and saying copy or an image, I would lose this JPEG, this PNG, this screenshot. It only lives in my clipboard. It's like this one little thing that I get a hold on to, and, and it continues throughout my entire computer. It's not specific to Illustrator. It's not specific to Excel. It's whatever I've copied right at that moment. As soon as I copy something else, that item on my clipboard is removed. So I do want to make sure to paste this directly into Excel or whatever software I'm using right away. Now, if you're using some other software that's not Excel, maybe a, a PDM or a PLM software, I would still do this the same way. I would take my screenshot. I wouldn't hold the control key to copy it to my clipboard, but I would just take my screenshot and then I would go into that software and I would import my image that way. It's much faster to do the screenshot than to choose file, export, export for screens, or save for web, um, whatever version of Illustrator you're in. These, these settings changed a little bit. So go ahead and give that a try. I have found that this gets the best resolution with the smallest file size in the quickest turnaround for getting your artwork from Illustrator into Excel. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like what I'm doing, go check out my website, sign up for my email list. I share tons of content that you don't see here on YouTube, and I would love to have you there and get to know you a little bit better. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.